All right, we've played a bit with the commando. Let's go back to the hunters for a while. Right, she's got the dash. No items to scrap. Now, unlike the commando, she can't fire from long range. She has to be kind of within mid-range. Otherwise, the homing arrow will not attack. Buy that really quick. Oh, here's a new item. Fire a black hole that draws enemies in. I mean, that'd be great if I had something with splash damage. And it's got a one minute cooldown. Maybe if it also stunned enemies, perhaps? Although, I'm now thinking of the possible uses. Maybe I can, like, summon that over a hole? Cause enemies to fall into their... fall to their death? Maybe that's a, an option? Rain down from above! God, there's a game I need to get back. I need to get back to, to Overwatch. I miss my Pharah. So fun just flying around, just raining death from above. Alright, find the exit. Find it and ping it. Oh, here we go. What can I, I don't have anything to trade in, that's the thing. Come on, game, where are some items? I need to buy something. Got a hole burning through my pocket. And to be fair, I don't have that much money, but still. Wait, is this one closed? I didn't know that they could be closed. Then does that mean that they only open after a certain period of time has elapsed? Huh. I'm starting to wonder, like, the different things for this game. Or it could be the reverse. It could be they close after a certain period of time. So certain gates may require you to rush and find. And if you don't get there in time, they could close. And maybe those are the ones that actually have good things behind them. I feel like Overwatch is one of those games that if you didn't get in early, it's kind of too late now because... You're now playing against people who have a lot of experience and who've been playing it like for five plus years. Maybe when Overwatch 2 comes out, you'll start to find a lot of people who are new to the game again. It'll be reintroduced. But right now, we're kind of in this lull period where the only people playing it are... the people with a lot of experience who've been playing it for a long time. Who've committed a lot of time. There's a mushroom. Again, healing outside of combat. So we could trade in our, primor our primordial cube for a primordial cube. Which primordial cube do we want? Well, I like this one, but this one has some grass on it and some blood. Okay, there's the exit. Good. Um, that's also the, the same thing about a lot of different multiplayer games, too. It's not just relegated to something like Overwatch. You have a lot of games where whenever there's a competitive scene, 
Although, no, you know, that's not exactly true. We're looking at something like uh, Fall Guys. Fall Guys has a bit of a competitive scene to it. There's a lot of people who are trying to be the best. Multiplayer game. But it's one of the type of games where you can easily drop in and drop out despite your skill level. It's one of those quick games that you don't need to have played it from the beginning to be good at it. There's a lot of luck involved. So, no, technically not all multiplayer games are like that. Just most. Betcha, you're looking at stuff like Call of Duty, Battlefield, anything that's been around for a number of years. It requires a lot of precision, requires a lot of experience, requires you to know the maps in and out. Yeah, those definitely are not as easy to jump into years after their release. Among Us, another one that's very easy to drop in and out. Although, after a couple games, it's like your first few games you're going to be inexperienced because you don't know the map, you can't really lie. You can't say, oh, you know, I was up in the north area, I was doing this specific task. When people who know the game and played it a lot can say, well, no you didn't because I've played this game enough, I know that that task is never up in the north area. So obviously you're lying. So Among Us does require you to play enough where you know where certain tasks are at. But once you get that down, I'm sure that Among Us is an easy game to get good at. Oh god, I overjumped that. Uh, extra health? No. Seed. Rapidly heal outside of combat. Again, we need something for healing inside of combat, because once we activate that teleporter, we're kind of in the heat of it. Alright, go to the exit. We need to go. Crap. Well, thankfully it's right there. Okay, I think three minutes is enough time to kill the boss. And I'm gonna test out my theory. Maybe we can summon it, summon this orb, this cube, right above a cliff and maybe get enemies to fall to their death. I mean, I'm hoping. It's kind of what I'm relying on right now. Why didn't it activate? Come on. There we go. Let's test out this theory. Oh no, that just spawned where I was standing. So unless I'm jumping over an edge, that might not work. Oh my god, they hit so hard. They can line you up too. I've seen a couple of streams where people have done that before on Among Us. Although that's again those hyper competitive people who always have to win. I mean, we've made it to level 3 once. We've done it once. If we've done it once, we can do it again. No, I didn't want to actually- No, game, let me buy something. You had to spawn right here. Oh wait, we don't even have any money anyways. Right, you explode. Now we can buy this paddle ball. Sticky bomb, chance on hit to attach bombs to nearby enemies. Ooh. Could be good for the boss fight. Okay, slowly, slowly getting his timing down. I think it's at the point where when the two laser lasers align, that's when he's going to shoot off his beam. 
So that's what we need to be on the lookout for. Can't afford it. I'm just throwing that thing off in a random direction. I'm not even aiming it no more. Primarily because, as we found before, you make yourself a very vulnerable target when you're up in the air like that. Deal extra damage to bosses. Nice, if we can make it there. I feel like it's the Wisps that are doing the most damage to me. Just because I never see them by the time they hit me like two or three times. Another good thing about these giant golems is they can't really turn around that quick, so if I dash right behind them, get a few good shots in. Gee, I'm not using L1 nearly enough. I need to be quick with that. What is this? Healing, here we go. Come on, heal on attack. No! And there's a lot of these wisps too. Like, especially during the boss fights, I'm seeing like 10 or so of them at once. Hmm. I think I'm learning something about my L1 attack. If I immediately face down as soon as I launch it, then I'm going to be firing where I'm standing, and then enemies who are coming in close to me are the ones who are going to be hit by it. That might be the tactic to use. There's the turtle again. Don't get stuck, the aim. Come on. Think red or damage, right? Yeah. Red are always going to be damage. So, first strike damage. Now, while the Huntress does not have a dodge roll, this little dash of hers does allow me to get across the map easier, so saving time, perhaps? Until I do stuff like that? A bullet. Extra damage to bosses. Would like to get a little bit more before we continue on. I don't think we have the DPS yet. Cannot get over the soundtrack. So good. More damage. Chance to critically strike. Not bad for this character. Turn invisible at low health. Well... The question is, with enemies who are dealing like 100 plus damage, 70 damage, I'm not going to be entering that low damage state. I'm going to go from like 70 down to zero or beyond. So I'm not going to get the chance to become invisible. Okay, we need to maybe go to the exit now. Okay. 
Where was- I know I pinged it. I just don't remember where I pinged it. We don't necessarily need a turret. We need drones is what we need. Well, there's something. Oh, wait, no, that's a recycler. Go! Just get out of here. We need to go. Sure, we got the cube back. There it is. Don't take fall damage. Or at least reduce it. Who do we got this time? Okay, st wait. We need- where's cover? I need cover. Oh no! I said I needed cover! He's kind of got himself a good position right now where I can't exactly hide from him when, once he starts that laser. He's got the high ground. Yeah, there's no way I could have avoided that. There was nothing to block his laser. Damn. This game is brutal. Do we go? No, we're going to stick with the Huntress for now. Because I feel like I can get, his, get her character down. I'm sure I can. We've made it to stage three with the Commando. We can do it with the Huntress. All about just finding somewhere to hide once we get that stone golem boss fight. If we can do that, I feel like we can be fine. Yeah, they're just throwing everything at me right now, aren't they? We have some cat. There's that thing again. Bonus damage in nearby enemies. Tiny bit of radiation. A shop this way. And we can go for extra help. You know what? No. We want the banner. Anything to help us with the boss fight. Delayed healing after taking damage. There we go. Just hope it's enough. I'm very curious as to what other, like, loadouts you can unlock for these people. Like, I'm thinking maybe she has something with piercing or something that can do splash damage, explosive arrows, perhaps? Maybe reduce fall damage because she does have that one jumping attack of hers. That's one thing I would like to see. Anything with reduced fall damage. More gambling. Come on. Recharging shield and what was the other thing I just got? It's that sword. I can't remember what that is. Chance to bleed enemies. Oh, 
Oh, so many sh things to buy. We need a lot of money now. This is the first time I've ever been this low. Three different things we can buy, 25 each. Alright, good night. I will catch you later, Tomaton. Almost afford to buy one of these. The question is, which one? And which one do we buy? Because we can only have one equipment equipped at a time. Gain massive armor for five seconds. Is that something that's worth it? Is that going to help us against the boss fight? Or do we want something like those explosive rockets? that deals massive damage. Still haven't figured out which one's best. Okay, there's the exit. Now, how long does that actually stay on screen? Like, I'm curious what the ping duration is. Because it absolutely does go away after a while. It does not stay on screen. One thing I was hoping was to ping it and then just go off and explore. And then come back another time. Or, I, let me rephrase that. Come back once there's enough time to fight the boss fight. I mean, it's still there, so why did it disappear before? Maybe when you get too far away, it goes away. Ah, oh, here's this thing again. Wait, Lunar Pod, that's completely different. So a Newt Altar is not necessarily the only thing you can spend these Lunar Coins on. Well, we've got three, so why not? Defiant Gouge. Using a, a shrine summons enemies nearby. Ooh. That... That actually sounds like a curse. Why would we want to do that? No, yeah, that actually sounds like a bad thing. Unless we were looking to farm enemies for experience? Okay, I think four minutes is when we need to go. Let's try it now. We've got a decent amount of items. Okay, there's a jellyfish. Okay, give me some armor. I don't know how much armor I just got from that. It looks like maybe 16 armor that's now already gone. Damn, how many of those do you throw out? Is there any way to track where they're supposed to land? Rather than just eyeballing it. No, don't you dare. Okay. So right before he dies, he goes off into a, a massive explosion. So stay the hell away from him. Is that everyone? I think that's... Okay, no, they continue to spawn. Don't, you did not gain, okay. I was gonna be upset if they put it in a, pl a place I can actually access. I mean, enemies are still coming. 
even though the teleporter is ready to go through. I always get a little bit of bonus experience. Okay, we can leave. So that's two of the five we needed. Three more... Three more times that we get past level one, and we unlock the robot. I think. Again, I can't remember if that is the robot, but his silhouette makes it look like it is. There's two things we can buy, but again... We're broke right now, we need to start killing enemies. In fact, where are the enemies? They just weren't wanting to show up! Okay, now we can afford to buy them. To go all the way back. Forcing me to backtrack game just so I can open one chest. Okay, reduce our chance to block damage. Okay, more max health. No, we're gonna go for the, the bleed. Any kind of DOT we can get, the better. Oh, we can't afford that. Now we can. So I don't know how I feel about that armor. Heal on use, hell yeah. I think I'd much rather have that than like 20 armor. Because something tells me I'm going to be healing more than 20 back. Even if it's just 10%, that's still 27 health back. Okay, there's the exit. Again, we need to find out what is causing that ping to disappear. Alright, so we have something that makes enemies spawn when we use an altar. Question is, how many enemies and what level? I mean, that wasn't... I was expecting something a little bit tougher than that, that's fine. There's that jade thing. Again, we don't want the armor. Healing is much more effective. Chance on kill to get treasure. That's the second one of those we've gotten. So... Now, what does the game define treasure as? Money or maybe items? No, no. Don't you dare, game. If it's a chance of getting items, that could be big. Don't need to heal yet. Okay, there's that. Okay, so what drop? Where? It, okay, so it is money base. It's not a chance of getting items. Too bad. 
To be fair, I feel like that could have been broken. If you're getting a chance to get more items back, that could be easily abused. You get one of these altars where you get enemies to spawn, you hang out near the exit. A lot of items to be had that way. So yeah, money makes more sense. Ow. Okay, so it looks like it heals you by 50%. Definitely the better choice. Oh, hello. What is this and how do I get past that? I want in there. I can smell the treasure. I can smell it. Nice. Double up on the Warhammer. War banner. So that should be two war... That should be two war banners every time we level up. Either that or double the effect. Either way... Good to have. Double j Oh, hell yeah! So if we get launched in the air again, we can jump right before we hit the ground and save ourselves. Yeah, there we go, like that. Okay, wait for it. Don't heal yet. Don't waste my one heal. Because I didn't pay attention to what the cooldown was on this thing. I may only get the one chance in this fight. Just keep my eye on my health bar. And so far, so good. And the L1 is definitely a good AoE if I can do it quick enough and I don't stand in the air for too long and make myself too vulnerable. Alright, there's that you Again, there's that ukulele. I have no idea what that does. And here I was talking earlier about how good the game is for telling you what all these items do. So you know what to pick up and what not. And I have no idea what the ukulele does. And his music was electric. Got chills electrifying. Alright, there was something else that dropped too. I saw a red crystal. Did I not see a red crystal? I thought I saw a red crystal somewhere. Maybe I already picked it up. Maybe it was just money. Alright. So made it back to level 3. And we've got this intermediary bizarre thing. And we've, we've got two lunar coins too. So we might be able to actually buy something this time. And also, to note, don't screw up and purge two of your items, three of your items. Don't do that this time. So that costs ten. I mean, it looks like a new character. That or a skin. What's over here? What can we afford? We've got ores. No, we got a stone and chisel. A vertebrae. That looks like a minion. I'm, I'm probably buying this thing. A beetle and a 
teleporter or a crown? We're going for this guy, because he's probably a minion. Yes! The Effigy of Grief. Drop a permanent effigy that cripples what? So that wasn't a minion. Damn it. That cripples all characters inside can place up to five. Well, as much as I would love to have the foreign fruit, it kind of saved me in the last run. We just spent two lunar coins for this, so I feel like we have to keep it. Otherwise, that's a waste of premium currency. Let's see if we can't make it past level 3, and if we do, based on those unlocks, that means we're going to unlock a new character. Maybe we can play around with him before the stream ends. Because I don't know how it's possible, we, we've almost been going for 3 hours already. Oh, this place looks different. The Scorched Ashes. Yeah, last time we were at kind of a lumber yard. Oh, I don't like the look of that. Teleporting around? Okay, so we dropped an effigy, I think. But it didn't seem to do anything. I mean, the cooldown's fairly small. It's only 15 seconds. Let's try that again. Huh. I mean, it said you can drop up to five. I really hope that doesn't mean that once we use all five, that the thing's gone. Because I've dropped two already. And I'm not seeing anything happen. Nothing's appearing on the screen. Nothing. Hmm. I am not giving you 50% of my health. Screw that. Half tempted to drop down there. You know what? Nothing venture, nothing gained. Okay, not instant death. Though, also don't want to be dashing around over here. What does this effigy do? Drops an effigy, deals damage to enemies inside of it. So you would think it would create some kind of barrier. Oh, there we go. Now it actually did something. So then why the first two times did nothing appear? Huh. Oh, that slows me down too. Oh, actually that might not have that might have been the enemy that did that, not me. Cause I just tried to do the triangle again and nothing appeared. Maybe if I get in close. Touch it? Touch it. T -t -t touch it. Well, there's another one up there. Maybe it spawns it in some random area in the map. No, I'm absolutely causing that to appear. So maybe I have to face downward. Okay, that might be it. The problem was before, I was facing forward and it was hitting like the off side of the mountain. So look downward when I do that. Now I know. 
Slow you down to work. Oh, that's going to be helpful against the boss fight. Considering how big they are, I can probably get all five on them. Come on, heal me up. Drop a healing orb on kill. There we go. More of these, please. Although, yeah, it also does slow me down, so... Probably not the greatest thing. Make sure where I spawn it is within the enemy range and not my own. Not... Oh my god, that means you made it to the secret boss. That platforming area was so brutal. Like, the first two areas, not so bad. But that third segment with the dropping platforms? Good god, that almost caused me to rage. Like, the first area was just about 3D platforming. That was simple enough. I had no problem with that one. The second segment with the platforming based on perspective? A bit harder. A little bit annoying. Not too bad. Third area, with those stupid dropping platforms. Yeah, near rage. The boss fight himself actually wasn't too tough. I kind of cheesed it. I can't remember what I did. I think I like slowed him down or something. But yeah, the boss fight wasn't as tough. Okay, more, I could do more bleed. You know what? The higher the bleed, the better. Triple War Banner. Okay, we need to find the exit. We've been playing around too much. Where do we need to go? Well, here's another one of these. Although we can't afford it this time. The Newt Shrine. Yeah, that was the thing. The whole... The fixed camera kind of made depth perception very hard. Get those juicy healing orbs. Find the exit. Stop spawning! I'm good on levels. I don't need to kill anymore. I just need to leave. So I can unlock this new character. I don't know where I need to go. I can't find it. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff that way. Oh, I've got plenty of money. I'm not taking the risk of that jump. That's too far. But yeah, there's at least three things I can buy right now that I see. Yeah, we're probably going to be entering insane very soon. Yes, triple shop. Okay, what do we buy? Bullets do extra damage to bosses. The soda. I can't remember what you do. Sprint faster. That was a waste. And the crowbar was what again? First strike. Bonus first strike damage. Like if I go that way, I can buy more stuff. But I'm spending so long. Yeah, just go. Go, get out of here. I don't think the exit is this way, but there is something I can buy. Sticky bombs. Yeah. 
Is it around the corner? No. Oh no. I can't find the exit. I have no idea where it's at. This isn't good. This run that was going so well. We have so many good items, we're so close to unlocking a new character. Come on, we gotta find where's where's the exit? We gotta find it now. Game. Be generous. Seriously, no. Really, where? Where? I feel like I've already been across this entire map and I haven't found it yet. This is the starting point. It wouldn't be up there, would it? We were just over there. Like, there's no way it's up there. I don't even know how I would reach that. I would have to be able to fly to do it. Yeah, I've been to all three major platforms here. I have no idea where the exit's at. Hell. What? Is it perhaps down here? No? Watch it be like off to the side underneath something. Like right on a cliff's, uh, cliff face. Yeah, no, this is bad. What the hell? I've spent a good two minutes looking for this exit now. We've now entered insane. Watch it, I've probably like passed it two or three times already. Wait, is that... I see something glowing. No, that's just one of these eggs again. I mean, we got a drone, so there's that, but still. Oh my god, a machine gun, really? You're... No, 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 no. My run is dead. It's dead now. I just fell off the cliff, lost almost all my health, machine gun guy's coming after me, I cannot find the exit. Oh, this is, this is unfair. This is wrong. I can't get away. I don't know where the exit's at. I can't, like, I feel like I'm blind at this point. Why can I not find it? It shouldn't be this hard. Where did that thing spawn? There's a scrap thing again. Like I've, I've had no problems finding any of the exits on any other, other levels. Why then can I not find it on this one? On the one run that matters. Yeah, 
I've been this way. I mean, the maps aren't that massive. If I manage to find it, I'm going to be so upset. I can just tell. Because it's going to be off on some cliff face. Blocked from normal view. I mean, that's just the RNG of it, though. When you have a game like this, the RNG can some- Oh, there it is! No wonder I couldn't find it. It was under the bridge. Like, half of it is obscured. That- that's upsetting. That is incredibly upsetting. We wasted, like, three minutes. We're now in an insane, almost reaching impossible. But that's just the RNG of it sometimes. Sometimes it can spawn in a place where you cannot find it. That's why it's important to lo locate the exit as soon as possible. And we're dead. Oh! We lived for a few seconds, and I've now noticed that we've lost our special. We no longer have the effigy. Yeah, we're dead. That's upsetting. That is legit upsetting. Killed by the literal planet. The planet killed us.